Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to play with acrylic paints. Mia Arts sent me these Himi acrylics for my birthday and it was very kind of them. Himi is part of Mia, it's like a branch of Mia that's targeted toward the west. Indeed, as you might have noticed, Himi things are much more available here. They also sent me a set of brushes and I'll show them to you later in this video. Acrylic is such a versatile medium, it comes in a lot of formats. Acrylic paints like these in tubes usually come in three different viscosities. There are the ones that are more liquid, the ones that have a standard thicker consistency like these, and the heavyweight acrylics perfect for more metallic artworks. Then we have acrylic inks, acrylic spray paints used for murals, or painting furniture or whatever, acrylic paint pens, like there are so many things because acrylic is made with acrylic resins that create one stride, a sort of plastic film that is resistant, waterproof and therefore can be used on a ton of different surfaces. With that being said, I haven't used acrylics in so long, I believe it's been around 11 years. Acrylics used to be my favorite medium in art school and I still like a couple of the things I've done back then with them. To my great surprise, uh, while filming this video, I discovered that I forgot how to use acrylics, I don't remember how to blend them, I don't even remember it. What's the right consistency to work with, with them? The only thing I remember is that usually when they dry, the color becomes a little darker. That's it. While filming this video, I've made several attempts to make like canvas paintings with acrylics and they were pretty much fails and I think I'm gonna make a video about my journey to relearn acrylics and those videos will be part of that so stay tuned for that in the future when I'll learn how to use acrylics I'll make a video about my fails and my victories and the tricks and tips that I've learned so that you can learn from my mistakes. So in today's videos instead, I'm trying something new, something I've never done before, anime glass art. I've been seeing a lot of artists on TikTok doing this. It's a technique that mimics old animation cells, because believe it or not, they were all hand painted before the arrival of digital art, which is crazy to think about. It took me forever to paint this little thing. So. What I've done is I started with the outline. This technique is like painting backward. The image has to be flipped horizontally, otherwise it will look mirrored. I trace um, a frame of Sailor Moon, Sailor Mars, <laughs> uh, because she is, as always, been my favorite. So now is on my desk, looking over me with her beautiful eyes. <laughs> anyway. The outlines and the highlights all need to be painted first, apart from the black that if it is the color of the line art, you can use it first. Uh, it sounds complicated, but it isn't really. If you are confused, you can look at the other side of the painting to see how it's turning out. The difficult thing to do is drawing the line art. Oh boy, it took me ages. In the end, I gave up on a brush and I got a black Uniposca pen so that I refined everything nicely enough and um, now everything looks pretty straight. Let's talk about this set of acrylics. It has a ton of colors. The blues and the purples, though, are pretty sheer. They're not really like. You need a ton of layers, I think. 
to get a strong color. Once you build up the layers though, the paint becomes really shiny, not just satin, how it's supposed to be. And I found that it makes the layering process a bit streaky. The thing is, I don't remember if it's like a normal thing because, um, uh, yeah, I haven't used acrylics in a long time. In the past, I never really used professional grade acrylic paint, but I, I think I've tried them once and uh, I was surprised to notice that they were less shiny. So I guess that makes better layering. I don't know. What's your experience with acrylic paints? Do you like them? I am very excited to own a set so that now I can learn, in this case, relearn um, a new thing, how to paint with them. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me make a mess with this paint. Thank you again for Mia for gifting me this set. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.